Hey guys, it's Becca. Today I have something totally new and different for you and I think you're really gonna like it. So if you remember, a few weeks back I was working on a school project that involved creating a story and vis visual development elements for a project and that project had some very specific guidelines about the plot and about certain elements that needed to be included and also specific deliverables that were character design, prop design, and environmental or background paintings. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you some of my classmates' amazing finished projects. I was so blown away when I saw these. They're all so beautiful and so creative and everybody worked really hard on them and I am just, I'm so proud of their work and so impressed by them and I think you guys will be too. So to give you some background about the guidelines of the project, this is a very brief summary. The prompt was quite long, but there were a few main points that needed to be included. The first one is the premise is that there's been some kind of climate catastrophe that has caused the rich to seclude themselves behind tall walls in some kind of enclosed structure, while the poor are left outside to fend for their, themselves in the wild in a very hostile environment. So there's two groups of characters, the wilderness dwellers and the city dwellers, the wall dwellers. Inside both groups, there is a leader and an heir to the leader. And in the wilderness group, there's also a sage and a hunter. And in the wall group, there is also a council to the leader and a guard. So you will see how creatively people took all these characters and how they implemented them into their story. But each character had specific guidelines about their personality and their role and dynamic with the other characters that had to be taken into consideration. And lastly, we were encouraged to include some kind of an animal or creature design focused on showing how that animal or creature had evolved based on the climate and based on the hostile environment that they were living in. So that is the general jumping off point. If you like anybody's work, please follow them on social media. I will include all the links, of course, in the description. All the work's beautiful. Please comment, follow, do what you can to support these guys because they work really hard. And of course, I can personally vouch for the fact that they are all just like lovely, amazing people as well. So without further ado, onto the projects. Hi, my name is Raffaele. I'm from Naples and this is my project. The story is about a disastrous time travel experiment in the 19th century, which teleports the entire city of London to an ice age of the future. While the rich live in a city behind tall walls, the poor must survive the brutal elements and navigate relations with the local tribes. When the city dwellers learn that a mysterious animal, sacred to tribal people, may be the missing piece to return in home, Adam the Hunter is sent out to capture as many as possible. Because of his tragic past, he has a deep sense of anger towards the tribal people. Maka, an apprentice keeper of the sacred animals, is fiercely devoted to protecting them. She is a naive girl who wishes to explore the world, despite her duties as an apprentice. Bugo, her father and the chief of the village, is a strong protector of his people, but also a loving and positive leader. And lastly, Nadia, an active young woman from the city who wants to explore the world outside walls. She has studied everything about survival and exploration, but her lack of real-world experience will get her into trouble. Hi, my name is Silvia, I'm from Rome, and this is my story. The year is 2070, and a deadly parasitic fungus has forced humans to seclude themselves in a huge underground bunker. The only hope for society is a family of brilliant researchers who must risk everything to save humanity. Diana is the lead biologist in charge of the dangerous mission of researching the fungus. She is loving but severe and understands firsthand the risks of the mission. Jonah, Diana's husband, is a sweet and selfless man. When he becomes infected by the fungus, he is forbidden from returning to the bunker and must learn to survive on the outside. Cleo, the daughter of Diana and Jonah, is a bright but naive girl who follows in the admirable but dangerous footsteps of her parents. Dorian is the villain of the story. He is a cynical dictator that takes advantage of collective fear to gain control and power. 
Pan is a mystical creature that holds the answer that the research team is looking for. Hi, my name is Sia, I'm from Mexico. In my story, due to climate change, people have adapted to massive floating. Despite the heaviness of the prompt, I wanted my version of the project to be lighter and more hopeful. This story is about a family restaurant, specifically about the daughter, who is on a quest to find this missing ingredient for the secret family burrito recipe. I have four characters, two of the family members, and the final character is the guard of the walled city, who is the main obstacle to find the secret ingredient. First, there is a daughter. She is feisty and extroverted and is the leader of the quest. She is sassy and persistent. The granny, who remembers the recipe from the old world and wants to give them a life in the restaurant. And the father, who is the manager and the cook of the restaurant. He is very sweet and likes to take care of his family. The last character is a guard, whose goal is to prevent people from outside the walled city from entering. My name is Leonardo, I'm from Vasto, Italy. In my story, climate change and human greed have led to drought and dangerous water patterns. While animals have evolved to tolerate the powerful winds, the wealthy humans hide away inside a protected city. Conrad is the strict and authoritative leader of the walled city. He is imposing and forces his will on others. The main character of the story is Eira. She is an intelligent orphan who is forced to flee the city when she learns too much about the secret workings of the government. Outside the city, Eira is rescued by Nam. He is an independent and street smart guy who has learned to survive on the outside. Magda is the wise woman from outside village. She is a sage and predicts the arrival of Aira. Orum is a mutated human, changed by the outside elements. He is cruel, animalistic and wants to destroy all humans. My name is Louise and I'm from England. I really got into the world building element of this project and spent a lot of time exploring the possibilities of the story. I decided to set the story in the southwest of France where an organization has repurposed a medieval castle and uses mysterious technologies to clean radiation from the ground and air for the community living inside the walls. The story centres around three main characters. A young boy who, being bored with the responsibilities of being the son of the leader of the walled community, decided to escape the compound and found an abandoned and mutated kitten with which he bonded and which he wants to keep as a pet. However, due to the walled community's fear of radiation and mutations, he cannot keep the kitten without outside help. This outside help comes in the form of a 16-year-old hunter living outside the compound. The boy meets her after finding the kitten in one of her traps, and he begs her to help him look after it. She sees this as an opportunity to use him to smuggle hard-to-get supplies like medicines, and makes a deal. The last character is an eclectic librarian who travels the country with her pygmy owl companion. Her library provides refuge for the boy and his cat. 